happening? Well, all of a sudden, this holiday's hottest item is a COVID test. As the Omicron variant continues to ramp up, health officials say Florida hit a record high of positive cases on Christmas Day. Olivia Steen joins us now live in West Tampa at a county testing site. What's it look like out there, Olivia? Well, Marco, this testing site actually just closed down, but earlier today, people were wrapped around this building here on North Rome Avenue trying to get tested for COVID-19. I spoke to one lady who tells me it took her six hours just to find a site, a site or an at-home test. Everywhere I go, they're out. I spent three hours on the phone. Um, I tried to register on websites that failed. The Christmas weekend brought a rush of people trying to get tested for COVID-19. This West Tampa Community Resource Center has been packed for the last three days. Melody Engel tells me she drove all the way from Tarpon Springs to stand in this long line after several attempts to find testing around her. You know, for, for the country with allegedly the best health care in the world, here we are, and you can't even find out if you have COVID. So um, it's it's tragic. President Joe Biden recently announced the plan to send out 50 million rapid at-home tests so more people can have access to a free option. Benjamin Sanford tells me he wants to see more community sites as well. I think it'd be smart to, to have testing sites on every corner that we can. He says the crowd at this Tampa site almost turned him away. He waited in line for 40 minutes. It'd be a lot easier just to drive back home and, you know, wait it out. But I would definitely like to know so I can keep people safe around me. Now, this is the only county site open here in Hillsborough County. Live in Tampa, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side. All right, Olivia, thank you. And we do have a wealth of COVID-19 information online right now over at WFLA.com and on the free WFLA app, including all of our latest coverage on the pandemic, vaccinations, and testing.